Tao Kilbe. Tao Kilbe. Oh, pardon, pardon. Look. Wow. Madam the Vice President of the European Parliament, Mr. President of the European International Women Leadership Award 2022, members of the forum, ladies and gentlemen, I am so honored to be here to receive the European International Women Leadership Award. I will not start talking about my success. I would rather focus on my failure, but don't worry, there is a happy ending. When I was a kid, insults such as Sal Xing Tok, ugly Chinese skeleton, were my daily routine as a shy and insignificant girl at school. While some kids consider me as an object they could throw around, hit, and spit on, other kids would grab my breast and my ass to check if I have some. But fortunately, things change. And after a lot of effort and resilience, the daughter of the Vietnamese refugees became a successful lawyer traveling around the world. Then I thought I was happy, but I was not. One day, while working at my desk, I was thinking about the dream that I had when I was a little girl. The girl who paint and glued to the wall of her room perfume campaigns in awe of those strong and beautiful feminine figures. So I applied for a modeling online job. And guess what? I was chosen. And during the shooting, it was a revelation. I was in my own universe, and in that moment, being part of a creative process made complete sense to me. Apparently, I did a great job, and I was so happy. But back at my office desk, facing my legal cases, I felt empty. I felt a conflict of value inside of me. I realized that I didn't want to work anymore, and I didn't like my job anymore, and I wanted to be a model. But of course, I was not, a, I was not taken seriously. So what happened next? I suffered a burnout. I could barely speak nor read a document. I spent several weeks at the hospital. I thought I'd gone crazy. And there, in that moment, I actually realized that my whole life, I was seeking for everyone's approval. But it turns out that my burnout was the best thing that could happen in my life. I lived the most creative period. I created several raising awareness campaigns for refugees and education, being a dancer, an actress, and eventually living my childhood dream, being a model. Yes, art saved me and it helped me to gain confidence. It was difficult to explain to my refugee's parents that for my lawyer, I would turn into an artist at the age of 30. It was not an easy transformation. I struggled, I worked so hard, facing multiple mockeries and rejection, researching artists, creating my own network from scratch, 
working on my communication, going on to events, figuring out the necessary understanding of the market by all myself, shaping my body with a coach. Yes, it's a real job. As a lawyer, I fought for justice for others. And now I fight for my freedom to be my true self, hopefully inspire the others to do the same along the way. So I am here today to promote the idea that no matter where you come from, no matter all what you have been through, there is always hope to be the person you want to become. I want to dedicate this award to my husband, who is here, Tanguy, to my mom, to my daughter, to my beloved family, my friend who supports me, and to each person who wants to rewrite the script they were born into. Find out who you are and make the best of your life. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>